Good morning and welcome to another episode of Home Choice Plumbing or if it's afternoon or evening or whenever you're watching this video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about gate valves and ball valves and what the differences are and if you do have a gate valve why it is important to switch over to a ball valve. Um, so gate valves, this is a one inch gate valve and it is made out of brass and what has happened is the gate inside of here has um, stuck in the closed position. Uh, this is the reason why we actually have this. We have a, a bin full of old valves and pipe that have gone bad and this is where I got this from. We also have a couple others here that I'm gonna go over and show you what's wrong with them and, um, and show you the, the main failing points of a gate valve. So if you do have this gate valve on your house, it is a good idea to replace it with a ball valve. The reason being is these gate valves fail almost all the time. A lot of times when we go to a customer's house, this valve um, either doesn't work, it's stuck, it, um, we're able to shut the water off, but then when we go and turn the water back on, the valve doesn't move and um, or the handle just spins freely just forever and never stops that's how you can tell when the gate valve is bad is when the handle just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and doesn't do anything and it never never comes to a stop um, so what has happened is i'll show you here with one that actually still does work is if you look inside here you'll see the gate valve you'll see the gate inside there and so as you turn this the gate comes up and allows a full port um, flow of water to go through the valve. As you turn it, it closes. So pretty simple. It, there is no rubber inside of here. There is only metal to metal. It is only metal to metal seal, um, which when brand new, if everything's perfect, it will seal. But typically, you know, a metal to metal seal is not very effective long term um, as we found out with these gate valves. So this is a gate valve that works. This is just to show you how a gate valve works um, so you get a better understanding of what's going on. This is a gate valve that does not work. So this is the one I was holding before. As you can see, turning this constantly and the gate valve is, is not moving. What will typically happen is your water to your house would be fine. Then you have a plumbing situation, so maybe you're a do-it-yourselfer and you go outside and you go and you turn this valve off. Well, great. Now you got the valve off. You make your repair, but when you go outside to turn the water back on, the handle just spins and it spins and it spins and it spins and no water's coming out. Well, what has happened is that this gate has gotten stuck in the closed position and you're now, now not able to open it back, back again. Um, this is another valve that spins and I'm going to actually show you how this one works and doesn't work at the same time so typically these valves are installed in this orientation sometimes we'll see them on their side sometimes we'll see them in this orientation but this is the most common way so as you see this valve does not work the gate valve is shut the gate valve the gate is actually loose inside of there um, but it just doesn't move. It, it, it can't grab the stem and the threads that are on here to pull that gate back up into the position. So what I am able to do is if I turn this upside down, that allows the threads to grab and actually allow the valve to operate. The problem is, is that when this valve is installed in this position, you can't just turn the valve and allow that to, uh, to work again and then turn the valve back up in that position. Um, not only does this valve not open back up when it's closed but since the gate is rattling around in there and it doesn't have the stem to really push it and drive it down into the valve to get it to stick this valve will cause water to leak past it if you do want it shut off completely so um, so this valve is no good as well this is a ball valve <laughs> and don't be scared of its size these are the ones that I showed you are three quarter and one inch ball valves. Those are the typical size ball valves you will find in your house, at least down here in South Florida. Um, this is an inch and a half valve. This, um, most houses won't have this unless you are in Palm Beach 
or Jupiter Island or um, usually commercial applications would have um, a valve this big. So big houses would have this, um, but the, really, the reason I pulled this size out for you is so you guys can get a better view of what's going on here. So again, you have where the water passes through here, and then you turn this lever just a quarter turn, and it closes the valve inside. Now what that is, is that's a stainless steel ball inside there. And that stainless steel ball is wrapped in a, uh, like a neoprene sleeve. So the advantages of this versus the gate valve is the gate valve is all brass and eventually the brass being sitting in water for its entire life for years and years and years the brass tends to get brittle and starts to break and then that's what happens to the gate valves with the ball valves a lot of the components on here are stainless steel and the stainless steel wrapped in that neoprene so the neoprene is not going to deteriorate nearly as quickly as the brass will um, the stainless steel is is a is a great material for for water applications. Um, if you're familiar with the marine industry, they use a lot of stainless steel in the marine industry um, because it just withstands the caustic uh, properties of water. Um, obviously, in the marine industry, it's a lot worse than potable water or potable water. Excuse me. Um, but um, but again, this is why. A ball valve is a lot more effective, and um, it maintains the integrity over a life over a lifetime. Again, it's not a multi-turn one. This is simple, a quarter-turn valve. When the handle is a, is perpendicular to the pipe, it is off. As you can see, there's that stainless steel ball there. And if the handle is with the pipe, parallel to the pipe, you now have an opening. So just wanted to go over that with you guys. So if you have a gate valve on your house, it is definitely recommended to have it replaced with a ball valve. Um, in an emergency situation where a pipe bursts in your house or some sort of flooding happens, you wanna be able to shut that water off to your house. That is, that is your best defense. Have that main shut off valve operational and working. If you know something else happens inside your house, at least you have that. Um, some people say that you can turn the water off at the meter, and you can. Uh, the municipalities do not want you to touch their meters. And the other thing is that you need a special key to turn that meter off um, effectively and things like that. A lot of times the meters are extremely hard to turn off. This is the best thing what I recommend any homeowner to do is replace their gate valve with a ball valve. If you already have a ball valve, great. So that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, let me know in the comment section down below what videos you'd like to see, what uh, questions you have. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.